In geometry, the major axis of an ellipse is its longest diameter, a line segment that runs through the center and both foci, with ends at the widest points of the perimeter. The semi-major axis, more properly, major semi-axis, is one half of the major axis, and thus runs from the center, through a focus, and to the perimeter. The semi-minor axis, more properly, minor semi-axis of an ellipse or hyperbola is a line segment that is at right angles with the semi-major axis and has one end at the center of the conic section. For the special case of a circle, the lengths of the semi-axes are both equal to the radius of the circle. The length of the semi-major axis A of an ellipse is related to the semi-minor axis's length B through the eccentricity E and the semi-lattice rectum display style L, as follows, B equals A1 minus E2, equals A1 minus E2, A equals B2. Display style begin aligned B and equals a SQRT one E carrot two L and equals a left one E carrot two right a L and equals B carrot two end aligned the semi major axis of a hyperbola is depending on the convention plus or minus one half of the distance between the two branches. Thus it is the distance from the center to either vertex of the hyperbola. A parabola can be obtained as the limit of a sequence of ellipses where one focus is kept fixed as the other is allowed to move arbitrarily far away in one direction, keeping display style L fixed. Thus A and B tend to infinity, A faster than B. The major and minor axes are the axes of symmetry for the curve. In an ellipse, the minor axis is the shorter one. In a hyperbola, it is the one that does not intersect the hyperbola. Topic: <laughs> Ellipse. The equation of an ellipse is x minus h. 2 a 2 plus y minus k 2 b 2 equals 1 display style frac left x h right caret 2 a caret 2 plus frac left y k right caret 2 b caret 2 equals 1 where h k is the center of the ellipse in cartesian coordinates in which an arbitrary point is given by x y the semi major axis as the mean value of the maximum and minimum distances r max Display style R underscore max and R min display style R underscore min of the ellipse from a focus that is, of the distances from a focus to the endpoints of the major axis. In astronomy, these extreme points are called apsides. A equals R max plus r min 2 display style equals frac r underscore max plus r underscore min 2 the semi minor axis of an ellipse is the geometric mean of these distances b equals r max r Min display style b equals sqrt r underscore max r underscore min. The eccentricity of an ellipse is defined as e equals one minus b two a two. Display style e equals sqrt one frac b caret two a caret two. So r min equals a one minus e r max equals 
a one plus e display style r underscore min equals a one e r underscore max equals a one plus e now consider the equation in polar coordinates, with one focus at the origin and the other on the theta equals pi minus display style theta equals pi direction r one plus e cos theta equals Display style r one plus e cos theta equals l. The mean value of r equals one minus e. Display style r equals l one e and r equals one plus e. Display style r equals l one plus e for theta equals pi. Display style theta equals pi and theta equals zero. Display style theta equals zero is a equals one. Minus e two display style equals l over one e caret two. In an ellipse, the semi-major axis is the geometric mean of the distance from the center to either focus and the distance from the center to either directrix. The semi-minor axis of an ellipse runs from the center of the ellipse a point halfway between and on the line running between the foci to the edge of the ellipse. The semi-minor axis is half of the minor axis. The minor axis is the longest line segment perpendicular to the major axis that connects two points on the ellipse's edge. The semi-minor axis B is related to the semi-major axis A through the eccentricity E and the semi-lattice rectum display style L, as follows, B equals A1 minus E2 A equals B2. Display style begin aligned B and equals A SQRT 1 E carrot 2 A L and equals B carrot 2 end aligned A parabola can be obtained as the limit of a sequence of ellipses where one focus is kept fixed as the other is allowed to move arbitrarily far away in one direction, keeping display style L fixed. Thus A and B tend to infinity, A faster than B. The length of the semi-minor axis could also be found using the following formula: 2b equals p plus q, 2 minus f2. Display style 2b equals sqrt p plus q caret 2 f caret 2, where f is the distance between the foci, p and q are the distances from each focus to any point in the ellipse. Topic. Hyperbola The semi-major axis of a hyperbola is, depending on the convention, plus or minus one-half of the distance between the two branches, if this is a in the x direction the equation is x minus h 2 of 2 minus y minus k 2 b 2 equals 1 display style frac left x h right caret 2 a caret 2 frac left y k right caret 2 b caret 2 equals 1 in terms of the semi lattice rectum and the eccentricity we have a equals 1 minus e 2 display style equals l over 1 e caret 2 
The transverse axis of a hyperbola coincides with the major axis. In a hyperbola, a conjugate axis or minor axis of length 2 b display style 2 b corresponding to the minor axis of an ellipse can be drawn perpendicular to the transverse axis or major axis the latter connecting the two vertices turning points of the hyperbola with the two axes intersecting at the center of the hyperbola the end points 0 plus or minus b display style 0 pmb of the minor axis lie at the height of the asymptotes over, under the hyperbola's vertices. Either half of the minor axis is called the semi-minor axis, of length b. Denoting the semi-major axis length distance from the center to a vertex as a, the semi-minor and semi-major axis lengths appear in the equation of the hyperbola relative to these axes as follows. x 2 2 minus y 2 b 2 equals 1 display style frac x caret 2 a caret 2 frac y caret 2 b caret 2 equals 1 the semi minor axis is also the distance from one of focuses of the hyperbola to an asymptote Often called the impact parameter, this is important in physics and astronomy, and measure the distance a particle will miss the focus by if its journey is unperturbed by the body at the focus. The semi-minor axis and the semi-major axis are related through the eccentricity, as follows. B equals A E 2 minus 1 display style b equals a sqrt e caret 2 minus 1 note that in a hyperbola b can be larger than a 1 topic astronomy topic orbital period In astrodynamics the orbital period t of a small body orbiting a central body in a circular or elliptical orbit as t equals 2 pi a 3 mu display style t equals 2 pi sqrt a caret 3 over mu where a is the length of the orbit semi major axis mu display style mu is the standard gravitational parameter of the central body note that for all ellipses with a given semi major axis the orbital period is the same disregarding their eccentricity the specific angular momentum h of a small body orbiting a central body in a circular or elliptical orbit as H equals a mu one minus e two display style h equals sqrt a mu left one e caret two right where and mu display style mu are as defined above. E is the eccentricity of the orbit in astronomy. The semi-major axis is one of the most important orbital elements of an orbit, along with its orbital period. For solar system objects, the semi-major axis is related to the period of the orbit by Kepler's third law, originally empirically derived. T two a three display style t caret 2 propto a caret 3 where t is the period and a is the semi major axis this form turns out to be a simplification of the general form for the two body problem as determined by newton t 
2 equals 4 pi 2 g m plus m a 3 Display style t caret two equals frac four pi caret two g m plus m a caret three, where g is the gravitational constant, m is the mass of the central body, and m is the mass of the orbiting body. Typically, the central body's mass is so much greater than the orbiting body's that m may be ignored. Making that assumption and using typical astronomy units results in the simpler form Kepler discovered. The orbiting body's path around the barycenter and its path relative to its primary are both ellipses. The semi-major axis is sometimes used in astronomy as the primary to secondary distance when the mass ratio of the primary to the secondary is significantly large. M M Display style m g g m. Thus, the orbital parameters of the planets are given in heliocentric terms. The difference between the primocentric and absolute orbits may best be illustrated by looking at the Earth-Moon system. The mass ratio in this case is 81.30059. The Earth-Moon characteristic distance, the semi-major axis of the geocentric lunar orbit, is 384,400 km. Given the lunar orbit's eccentricity E equals 0.0549, its semi-minor axis is 383,800 km. Thus the Moon's orbit is almost circular, the barycentric lunar orbit, on the other hand, has a semi-major axis of 379,700 km, the Earth's counter-orbit taking up the difference, 4,700 km. The Moon's average barycentric orbital speed is 1.010 km per second, whilst the Earth's is 0.012 km per second. The total of these speeds gives a geocentric lunar average orbital speed of 1.022 km per second. The same value may be obtained by considering just the geocentric semi-major axis value. Equals. <laughs> Topic: <laughs> Average distance. Equals. <laughs> It is often said that the semi-major axis is the average distance between the primary focus of the ellipse and the orbiting body. This is not quite accurate, because it depends on what the average is taken over. Averaging the distance over the eccentric anomaly indeed results in the semi-major axis. Averaging over the true anomaly the true orbital angle, measured at the focus results, oddly enough, in the semi-minor axis b equals a 1 minus e 2 display style b equals a sqrt 1 e caret 2 Averaging over the mean anomaly the fraction of the orbital period that has elapsed since paracenter, expressed as an angle, finally, gives the time average a 1 plus e 2 2 display style a left 1 plus frac e caret 2 2 right the time averaged value of the reciprocal of the radius R minus one display style R caret minus one is a minus one display style a caret minus one. Topic: Energy calculation of semi-major axis from state vectors. In astrodynamics, the semi-major axis a can be calculated from orbital state vectors. A equals minus 
mu 2 epsilon display style equals mu over 2 var epsilon for an elliptical orbit and depending on the convention the same or a equals mu 2 epsilon display style equals mu over 2 var epsilon for a hyperbolic trajectory and epsilon equals v 2 2 minus mu r display style var epsilon equals v caret 2 over 2 mu over left math bf r right specific orbital energy and mu equals g m display style mu equals gm standard gravitational parameter where v is orbital velocity from velocity vector of an orbiting object r is a cartesian position vector of an orbiting object in coordinates of a reference frame with respect to which the elements of the orbit are to be calculated e.g. geocentric equatorial for an orbit around earth or heliocentric ecliptic for an orbit around the sun g is the gravitational constant m is the mass of the gravitating body and epsilon display style var epsilon is the specific energy of the orbiting body. Note that for a given amount of total mass, the specific energy and the semi-major axis are always the same, regardless of eccentricity or the ratio of the masses. Conversely, for a given total mass and semi-major axis, the total specific orbital energy is always the same. This statement will always be true under any given conditions. Topic. See also Semidiameter <laughs>